Don't worry, Walt Egan, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, Jack, uh, yeah. you don't look like a... No? Well, say, what is it? Well, say, long I don't look like an oyster. Mm -hmm. Although you're hot. You hear that, Walt Egan? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to I was going to kid you. I was really bored at Springfield. In Springfield, is that so? Which one? I've often wondered. So it's going to get to you. Do so it's going to get to you. No, that was Abraham Lincoln. Oh, no, pardon me. I always get you to that. You know, Don Lincoln, the names are similar. For <laughs> sure, sir. I just happened to remember, I come from Springfield, Minnesota. Springfield, Minnesota. I mean, I never heard of that town. How big is it? Well, we have a mayor, a chief of police, two kibitzers, and the suit. Oh, a well, one suit town. Is there <laughs> any factory? No. Any industries of any kind? I mean, any business activities? No, just Springfield. Oh. Say, Wilson, what are we talking about anyway? I don't know. Let's start over again. Yeah. <laughs> hello, fellas. Am I missing anything? Oh, hello, Parker. Say, we were just talking about our hometown. Where are you from? Missouri. I know, Parker, but there's so many, so many Missouris. I mean, which state? Springfield. Oh, you must be a neighbor of Wilson, I think. <laughs> Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, hello, Mary. Good evening, Miss Livingston. You remember Mr. Wilson. You know, you met him here last week. Oh, yes. Uh, say, Jimmy, who does he remind you of? Lincoln. That's what he thinks anyway, you know. Say, Mary, what's the matter with you? You look kind of worried tonight, huh? Well, I am worried. This is Friday the 13th. Well, don't let that worry you. Why, did anything happen to you today? Did it? I found a $20 bill. Is that hard luck? Yeah, for the guy that lost it, yes. Well, that's a load off my mind. Yes, good, yes. Oh, hello, Parker. Hello, Mary. Uh, say, Parker, I see you're playing at the Paramount Theater this week. Yeah, I started here today. Did you see me, Mary? No, I went to the flea circus. The flea circus. That certainly is a fine compliment to Frank Parker. Oh, well, Jack, it's the little things in life that count. Yeah, I still think it's an insult to Parker. After all, a flea can't sing, you know. Well, what of it? Well, this one can. That's only. <laughs> I finally got that one over, didn't I? Hmm? I need a joke myself, you know, once in a while. By the way, Mary, where have you been all week? I haven't seen you around. Oh, I went out of town to visit my relatives, and I had the grandest time. Yeah? Where do they live? Springfield. Listen, Mary, we've been having a lot of trouble here with Springfield. Which Springfield do you mean? Ohio, Jack. I thought you knew that. No, I didn't know your relatives live in Springfield, in Ohio. No. And you know, Jack, the funniest thing happened. I got on a bus marked Springfield, and when I got there, it was Springfield, Massachusetts. Springfield, Massachusetts? So what happened? Well, I spent a whole week with some people there before I found out they weren't my relatives. <laughs> Play, Don. Boy, am I glad to get out of Springfield. <laughs> Good job, old boys. Well, that was uh, Little Dutch Bill, played by Don Bester and his Springfield or Pennsylvania Hotelian. Ah, folks, you should see how Don looks in front of that orchestra, all dolled up in a full dress suit with tan to match. Then you know? <laughs> he's swell looking. He looks not unlike Raymond Navarro. Then again, he looks not like Raymond Navarro. In fact, just forget Navarro and think of Frank Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, the only difference is Frank Buck brings him back alive and Bester makes him walk back, you know. <laughs> but you must admit he's cute, Jack. All right, cute. But who's better looking, Mary, really, Bester or I? You are. Thanks. So you can imagine how Bester looks. <laughs> Fine. All right, but he's a nice kid at that, I mean, you know. Oh, Don, Don. Now, just call me Mr. Bester. No need of formality, you know. Oh, sure, that's the spirit, you know. <laughs> and you can call me, you can call me Mr. Benny from now on. After all, we're not strangers. I'd know? rather have it that way. Informality breeds contemptuous reactions, of which there is nothing more formidable. Yes, I hardly agree. Yes, I agree. What did you say, Jack? I don't know, Mary. I'm having my own troubles, you know. I mean, did you hear those words he used, Mary? Well, Jack, why don't you retaliate in the vernacular of the intelligentsia? Oh, you too, eh? Did you hear that, Parker? Oh, Constantinople. Constantinople? Yes, that's the only big word I know. <laughs> that's fine. 9,000 programs on the air. I had to get mixed up with this one. See, Bester, I mean, see what you started? 
Well, if you're only receptive to the jargon of the pro- proletariat, no. then my discourse is extraneous and immaterial. That was Il Travator by Don Bester without his orchestra. Well, Don, I guess I won't talk much to you. Not to you, sir. No. <laughs> Jack, who does he remind you of? Webster, I think. Oh, Jack. Yes, Wilson. It is now imperative that I orally eulogize our product. Oh, yeah? The general's silent safety tread adds the final factor of security to the blowout proof tire, Mm -hmm. and the patented low pressure construction provides luxurious comfort. I thank you. Yeah, I can see where I won't talk much to you either. (laughs) Well, the squirrel's had a word for it. Now, wait a minute. This thing has gone far enough. Mary, take a letter. Yes, sir. I've had enough trouble around here. Take a letter to Bill O'Neill, President General Tire and Rubber Company, Springfield, I mean Akron, Ohio. <laughs> Dear Bill, my constituents are conspicuously conspiring to cause verbal consternation by employing multisyllabic conglomerations in this studio. Jack, how do you spell studio? <laughs> Never mind, Mary. Tear it up. The only one I can talk to around here is Parker. What are you going to sing tonight, Frank? A rendition characteristic of my former vocal endeavors. You hear that, Bester? We had a real American program before you got on it, you know? Now, Jack, don't be angry. I'll try and be a bit more careful of my vocabulary in the future. I wish you would. I mean, after all, we're going to be together for quite a while, Don. Yes, yes, I realize that. And by the way, I'd like to have you come out to the house tonight for a little friendly gathering and bring the gang over. Well, Don, sure, I'll, I'll be glad to. Now, uh, do you play bridge? Yes, quite often. I played last night. Mm, how did you do? I broke five spades and got a birdie in diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, no, not this darn family. You can look now. I'm <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, you know what I mean. A little nervous, you know. Uh, when, uh... <laughs> when uh, when do you want us when do you want us to come over, Don? How about right now? Oh, why, uh, Don, we couldn't go over now. Who'll stay here and finish this program? The boys. They know what to play. Eh? Well, okay, sure. Don, come along, Mary. Sing, Frank. Come on, let's just... That was Frank Parker singing The Touch of Your Hand from Roberta. Jack Benny, Mary, and Don Bester have all gone over to the Bester home for a jolly evening. Parker and I will join them later. We'll be there shortly. Uh, it's a nice car you have, Don. What kind of a car is it, Jack? Mary, what's the difference? The tires that count, you know. I know, but the car runs so smoothly, I can't even hear it. That's because it has the general blowout proof tires with a silent safety tread. So, for turn off that radio. How much further do we go, Don? Oh, about five miles. I have a country home. Well, let's make it a city home. You know, after all, this is only a half-hour program. This is your house, isn't it? Well, all right. Mm. My, what a pretty place. What floor is it, Don? I live in the penthouse. We'll take the elevator. No, we'll walk up one flight. I mean, it won't hurt. Now, here we are. Come right in. Good evening. Wipe your feet and come in. Oh, uh, how do you do, Mrs. Bester? That's the maid. Oh, pardon me. It's dark here, you know. Hello, dear. Oh, maybe aren't you? Yes, darling. Oh, Jack, this is my wife, Donita. Oh, Donita, I see. Mm -hmm. Uh, Glad to know you, Mrs. Bester. How do you do? Won't you come in? Who does she remind you of, Jack? Quiet, Mary, will you? A uh, nice, uh, nice apartment you have here, Mrs. Bester. Hmm? I'm glad you like it. You have seven rooms and seven baths. This is the clothes closet. What, no bath? Hmm? Imagine a closet without a bath, huh? Jack, I want you to meet my son. Hmm, I see he has no bath either. Hmm? How are you, Junior? Splendid. And you, sir? Fine. My, what a nice young man. Uh, what's that book you have there? I'm reading the psychoanalysis of stratospheric phenomenon. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, what's Frank Merrill's picture doing on the cover? I want to fool Papa. Oh. <laughs> Is your name Don, too? No, Donald. Donald. Well, I should have known that. Yeah. Uh, pardon me a moment, folks, while I change my clothes. 
Oh, Jack, look at that cute little dog. Oh, isn't it a darling? Come here, doggy. Come here, you cute thing, you. Uh, what, uh, what's the dog's name? Rim Dom Dom. <laughs> Come on, Mary, let's go home, will you? Oh, do come into the living room, folks. Do you indulge in bridge? Oh, yes, I love it. Nothing I like better than a good game of bridge. Oh, that's fine. No wonder they wouldn't make some sandwiches. Oh, we play a rubber of bridge and then have supper. Oh, butler, butler. Son, will you call the butler? Hey, Nicholas Murray! Uh, yes, Junior, did you call me? Oh, that's the butler. I'm glad his name isn't Don, anyway. Jack, who does that butler remind you of? Frank Parker. I knew he had a sideline, you know. <laughs> Nicholas, bring in the bridge table and take orders for supper. Very well, ma'am. Oh, Jack, look at that pretty parrot. Where? Right over there in the corner. Oh, isn't that a beautiful bird? Yes, he's had it for some time. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> We're short of actors, folks, you know. <laughs> Polly, uh, Polly wants a cracker? No, Polly wants a matcha. A matcha? A matcha? Where, hey, where'd you get that bird? Very bright, you saw Oh, I see. Here's the bridge table, ma'am. Let's set it here, Nicholas. Well, come on, folks. All set to play? All ready. Uh, oh, before we start, I want to tune in the radio and hear how my boys are doing. Yeah, we might as well find out how our own program is getting on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That was Riptide from the motion picture of the same name, played by Don Bester's orchestra. And now I'd like to say a few words regarding the general blowout-proof tire. It is not only a safer tire, but its outstanding beauty... Uh, and that's enough, Don. Turn, turn that radio off, will you? Well, let's cut the partners. Okay. <laughs> Mary, look, at you keep score. Well, it looks like you and I are partners. Uh, Mary, uh, do you play good bridge? Do I? Did you ever hear Mrs. Culberson? Yes. Well, we both wear the same style hat. Hmm, well, that ought to help your game, yes. Hmm, hmm it's my deal. I don't even anything I like is bridge. I don't know what makes you concentrate, keep your mind on where, what you're doing. Oop, wait a minute, did I make a miss deal? Uh, wait a minute, hold your cards. How many cards have you, Mr. Bester? I have ten. And you, Mary? Sixteen. Well, that's right. <laughs> I thought I made a mistake there for a moment. I... Let's see, it's, uh, it's my bid. Nine, ten, ten. I, uh, I pass. You pass? I pass. I double it. Mary, where am I? Mary, you can't double it. You must either bid or pass. Have you got anything? Yes, Jack. I have a lot of cards with the cutest little red spots on them. Well, well, then you know what to do. Sure. Three clubs. Oh. Mm. I double three clubs. Mm, just a moment, folks. Pardon me, Don, for helping her out. I know it's not etiquette to talk across the table, but, you know. Uh, Mary, why did you bid three clubs when you have a handful of hearts and diamonds? Well, why should I let them know what I have? But, Mary... It's your bid, Jack. I double three clubs. Well, let me see. Uh, Mr. Bester, have you any dice? No. Well, then three hearts. <laughs> three hearts? Hmm. I can't. I double three hearts. Mary, I mean, why did you double it? I did the three hearts. Well, I have so many hearts, I don't see how you can make it. But I'm your partner, Mary, isn't he? Oh, why well, didn't you tell me? I thought it was every man for himself. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Come on, let's play cards. Yes, please. Uh-oh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. I've got mostly diamonds. Oh, now you've got diamonds. All right, then take me out. Okay, four diamonds. I pass. Let me see. I pass. I double four diamonds. I think you're right. Two clubs. <laughs> now we're getting someplace, huh? For heaven's sake, two no trumps. Just a minute. One, one spade. <laughs> All mixed up. Pass. I got you out that time, Mary. Oop, somebody kicked me. It wasn't me. Hmm, then it's fine company we're with tonight, huh? Uh, you're playing, Mrs. Bester. Put your cards down, Mary. You're the dummy. Well, you're not so hot yourself. 
All right, Mercy, you play the hand. I'll be the dummy. Wait a minute, Jack. You have to play the hand. Mary did diamonds. I know, but she meant spades. No, yeah. I didn't. Out. Out. Yes, dear. <laughs> 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 Let her play it, will you? Oh, wait a minute, sir. What are we playing for? Oh, how about five cents a point and settle for a quarter of a cent? Okay with me. Hmm, seven of diamonds. Uh, Jack, put those six of diamonds on there for me. Okay. Then I play the jack. And I'll play, uh, put the tray on. The tray? Mary, haven't you got a higher diamond? Yes, the Queen, King, and Ace. Well, why didn't you play one of them? Oh, I thought I'd finesse. <laughs> That's fine. The last player, and she finesses. Well, it's your trick, Mrs. Esther. Mm-hmm. Looks like that. It's your trick, Don. Mm-hmm. Another trick for you, Mrs. Esther. You got that one, too. Well, might as well show you this hand. We've got them all. You're telling us. How did I come to lose that ace of Trump? <laughs> nice people we're playing with. How are we doing, Jack? We're down six. Oh, ain't that cute? Yeah. Well, let me see. What honors did you have, Mary? Uh, I had the three and four spades in Little Casino. <laughs> hmm. How about the easy aces? I called Jane, but she couldn't come. Oh, it's your deal, Mrs. Vester. Oh, Nicholas. Nicholas. Yes, ma'am. Let's see what the suckers will have to eat. <laughs> now, Mary, watch yourself this time. When you try and play right, be sure you have at least two and a half tricks when you bid. Of course, folks, you know, it isn't the money, you know. <laughs> 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 it's your bid, Mrs. Vester. Uh, now, let me see. I did one diamond. One diamond. I pass. I pass. Two clubs. Pardon me, ma'am, but can I take you all this for supper now? Yes, yes. Oh, uh, what did you folks like to eat? Oh, I don't care anything. Huh? Well, now, let me see. I think I'll have a cheese sandwich. I double it. I pass. <laughs> Nicholas, I'll have two eggs. Three spades. Three no trumps. How do you want them? On toast. <laughs> now we're all mixed up. I mean, let's either play bridge or eat, will you? That's a good idea. Let's see. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, we have some cold chicken in the icebox. Would you care for that? Hey, that strikes me. I'll take a leg. I'll take the other leg. That's two legs we get, so we win the rubber. And speaking of rubber, remember the general tire is blowout proof and will not skid even on Friday the 13th. Oh. oh. So go to your general tire dealer and give yourself and your car a real treat. I double it. Me too. I dealt. Play, Don. Fine game this is. <laughs> General is the only tire that has the patented low-pressure construction. The blowout-proof tire from 1934 with the new silent is a noiseless, listless, skidless tire, a tire that is longer wearing and safer than ever before. With the extra strength, hot weather and faster driving puts on tires, be certain you are really safe. And put on a set of General, the genuine blowout-proof tire. You like doing business with the General tire. He's a successful person. He has built his own personal, intelligent, and interested service. And some things go wrong on your car. When your car shimmies, steers hard, or a tire begins to show irregular or excessive wear. The fact that the General Tire Dealer replaces so many tires with Generals makes his store Tire Bargain Headquarters. His racks are always full of new and slightly used tires of all makes at prices and on terms to suit everybody. This is the last number of the second program in the new General Tire Series. I hope all you good players have learned a few new points about the game. Well, good night, Don. Uh, good night, Mrs. Vester. Good night. Come again. Well, good night, Cook. We had a lovely time. <laughs> Come on, Mary. I thought you told me you knew something about bridge. I do. I used to play bridge in Hollywood. In Hollywood? Sure, I used to double for Norma here, and you know I know, I used to redouble for Clark Gable. You know? Uh -huh. Yes, good night, folks. Good night. Tom Wilson, this is 
International Broadcasting Company.